the moon. So she rolled it and nothing happened. Then she said to him, how can you say, I love you? Excuse me? How can you say you love me and you want to afflict me? She said to him, how can you say you love me when your heart is not with me? You have mocked me these three times and have not told me where your great strength lies. And it came to pass when she presented, when she, when she pastored him daily. She was stalking his Facebook. She was on his Twitter. She was texting him. She was writing him letters. She was showing him at the door. It don't care how much you're sweating. It don't care how many times you had to sing the same song. It don't care how many jumps and rips and runs you gotta make. It wants to continue to uh, uh, be in the, in the presence of you until you're totally drained and annihilated. Until you're down to your weakest. Uh, that's why your weakest part is after you poured out and you've given your all. That's why you can't understand that while you are giving your all, you gotta be careful that you don't fall in the arms of an animal. Because an animal will take control of you. It will bite you. It will do you under. It will do you in. And so he's annihilated. He's vexed. His spirit is so is tired to death, so he finds himself telling her everything she wants to know. Because he's tired of performing. The Bible says here in verse number 18, when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she said and called for the lords of the Philistines, saying, come up once more, for he has told me all his heart. So the lords of the Philistines came up to her and brought the money in their hand. What you thought was your sold out show really went to benefit your enemy. Catch this. So she began to torment him, and his strength left him. And she said, the Philistines are coming upon you, Samson. So he awoke from upon, he woke from his sleep and said, I will go out as before and perform at other times and shake myself free. But he did not know. 